G. Wow, that was Viv. <laughs> I don't think she's ever said the intro with me. We got Viv on camera saying a little bit of the intro with me. Welcome back to my channel. So, so excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Jody Dunn. And today, I wanted to bring you my second Walgreens haul. We got such fantastic coupons that I definitely wanted to take advantage of some more deals over at Walgreens. If you are new and you just found the channel, I am so excited that you're here. Would you please say hello to me? And let me know that you're new right down there so that I can welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thanks so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. Let me know if you've already done your Walgreens shopping this week. Uh, we got some weird coupons, as y'all know, last week. And then we got some more this week. Uh, they did seem to fix the coupons where the coupons actually say what they are for. <laughs> I did post on the community tab what the, I know there was a ton of confusion around the one that just said $5 off. And I think customer service was telling people it was $5 off an $8 purchase, which is not the case at all. It's actually one of those awesome boosters that we've gotten so many times before, before Walgreens changed their system over. Um, mine was, and they will vary per account, number one, not all accounts will get them. Number two, they can vary. Mine, I find the more I shop, the harder they make it on me, <laughs> which is totally fine because I still am up for the challenge. Mine is make eight trips, spend $20 each time and earn an extra $5. Every time I get that booster, I hit it. I don't even try to. It's just, I don't keep track of it. I shop like I normally shop. You know, on this channel, we use points on spend deals, almost all of them and still earn our points back, AKA Walgreens cash. <laughs> I'll put a link in the description box because honestly, there's really not a whole lot that has changed with this new program other than we don't have a beauty enthusiast. They just call it Walgreens cash now versus points. It's really like the same thing. And I have noticed I am getting way more high value coupons, which is awesome. Um, but I'll leave a link in the description box with a video that is called, uh, yes, you can use points on a spend deal and still earn your points back if it's done correctly. So if you're not sure how to do that, go ahead and check that out. We actually just got a $5, some accounts, again, not all accounts will get this. I got a earn $5 Walgreens cash reward when you spend $5. So I'm gonna test and see if it's working the same way that our old boosters used to work. Uh, even before Walgreens changed their system, there were some boosters that we could not use points on and still earn points back. That's why it's important that you check that video out if you are unsure. Um, because there are a few exclusions. So I'm sure it's going to be the same thing, but I'm going to test that one out today and see if that one works. I'm also going to see if it will stack with my other one. So, all right, super duper excited to hear what deals you grabbed from Walgreens this week. We are going to head into the store. If you enjoy the video make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you and, uh, let's head in. And then of course we will debrief at the kitchen table. All right, I am so dang excited about this transaction. So we're going to be working with two different boosters. I'm going to try and get them to stack. They usually do with the new system. I was a little unsure. So I'm working with the Spend 20 in Beauty, Earn $10 Walgreens cash back. And the new one that just showed up, Spend $5, Earn $5 back. So I'm going to start off with these Maybelline Baby Lips, which are $3.99 each. Buy one, get one half price. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab one eyeshadow. I'm not gonna grab two, even though they're buy one, get one half price for $3.99. I have a digital coupon for $3 off one Maybelline Cosmetics and a digital coupon for $4 off two Maybelline Cosmetics. All right, in my Sunday haul, I picked up some Aveeno Facial Care, which is buy one, get one 40% off, buy two, earn $4 in Walgreens cash. Well, the Neutrogena is on the exact same promotion. So I'm gonna pick those up today which are $6.99, buy one, get one, 40% off. And I have a digital coupon for $4 off when you purchase two. 
So these five products total me $21.15, which will qualify me to earn back my $10 in Walgreens cash. But I'm gonna add to this transaction. I'm gonna build it up. I'm gonna use Walgreens cash on a spend deal and see if I can earn Walgreens cash back, just like we used to do with points. So the Venus razors are on promotion. The 999 ones were not attaching to the $7 off coupon. So I'm gonna grab this $12.99 razor. I have a $7 off digital coupon and um, it's gonna give back a $4 register reward. All right, next up is the Oral-B toothbrushes. There are several products included, but they are on sale for $4. When you purchase two, you earn back a $4 register reward. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up two of these toothbrushes. That one was a medium and I didn't want that. I want the soft. So I'm gonna grab two of these, which are gonna total me $8. And I was gonna add this to my first transaction, but since I'm using paper coupons with the Oral-B, I don't want them attaching to the Venus because they're both P&G products. So I'm gonna put that in my second transaction. So to finish out my first transaction, I'm gonna go ahead and grab two packages of Poise pads because I'm working towards a couple of bonuses. They are on sale for two for $10. And I have a Fetch Rewards bonus and a Coupons.com, the app bonus that I'm working towards. And I have a $5 digital coupon off of two and a $4 digital coupon off two. So I'm hoping the $5 comes off. I sure hope you saw my post on the community tab about a week ago where we found out about a Catalina promotion, not a Walgreens promotion, but a Catalina promotion on the Godiva chocolate that it's giving back a register reward. So I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of that deal. They're on sale two for seven, but we have a $2 IVC coupon that'll bring them down to two for five. And for purchasing two, I'll get back a $2.50 register reward. So I'm gonna use these two paper coupons off my Oral-B for $2 off. After my $4 register reward comes back, that'll make those free. And I'm gonna use these 125 coupons off of the Godiva chocolate. After my 250 register reward comes back, that'll make these free. All right, so this is everything I'm gonna be grabbing for these two transactions. And I gotta tell you, you know, with the Walgreens changes, it's kind of had everybody like, honestly, really negative about it. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you have to be really careful about what you consume because negative energy breeds negative energy. And I'm just going to be real with you. I kind of fell victim to that a little bit because there are a lot of people that leave comments on my videos about how much they hate Walgreens, how Walgreens is always trouble, you know, on and on. It's because they don't understand how to effectively coupon at Walgreens. And when I was on my way to the store to pick these products up, I said, Jody, get back to what you know and what you love. You know how to coupon at Walgreens. So let's do this transaction like we know how to make it work and let's make some magic happen. So I decided to build up my transaction like I have always done in the past and see what happens instead of being scared because of the Walgreens changes. So transaction one, I've got the Neutrogena, the Maybelline, the Venus, and the Poise pads. That totals me $44.14. I'm going all digital with this deal. After my digital coupons, that's gonna bring me down to $21.14. I'm gonna use $20 in Walgreens cash Yep, I'm gonna use Walgreens cash on a spend deal. And we'll, we'll find out at the kitchen table when we do the debrief if I earned my Walgreens cash back. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, because I'm using my husband's card and it's his birthday this month, he earns 10% Walgreens cash back on all purchases all month long. Formerly known as 10 times back the everyday reward points. So now just 10% back. Like I said in the intro, really nothing has changed with Walgreens couponing other than the fact that we don't have a beauty enthusiast program. All right, real quick, we gotta interrupt the Walgreens because I got a hot swag bucks rebate and you know how those can change quickly. And so I always try to tell you guys about them when I'm doing them. So yesterday, Underwoods Under Debt commented on my video and said that this was raised to $16. Thank you so much. We've had this rebate for a little while. 
It was $10 on Swagwooks when you purchased four of the Mentos Clean Breath Mints. They cost $3.12 each. So these four are going to total me $12.48. Swagbucks raised the offer to $16 back. And Shopkick has a rebate for $1.02 between Scan Kicks and Buy Kicks. So these are going to make me $4.54. And yes, I just went ahead and grabbed the holder because why not? <laughs> and you know how I like to do these. When we have a hot rebate, they go away quick. I have my points. My points is basically the same as Swagbucks, so you cannot submit the same receipt to both of them. So I'm going to grab four more packs and submit that receipt to Swagbucks. I won't be able to get the Shopkick rebate on that one because Shopkick is once per day. But these mints are going to make me $8.06 between Swagbucks, my points, and Shopkick. Oh my gosh, I had to share this with you. And this is, of course, at Walmart. So we're going to cut back into our Walgreens haul. All right, I'm working with a different card now. And again, I have the Spend 20 in Beauty Products Earn $10 Walgreens Cash. And I also have that Earn $5 Walgreens Cash when you spend $5. So I'm going to incorporate the Dove because it is hard to get Dove for free. I'm gonna make it for free this time. They are on sale for $5.99. And when you buy one, you earn back $1 in Walgreens cash. I'm gonna grab the sensitive skin because that's the one my daughter likes and this pomegranate. We do have a digital coupon for $1 off two, but the digital coupon is not attaching to the pomegranate, which that's totally fine because I'm just gonna use a register reward anyways to lower my out of pocket. Next up, to get me to the $20, I am gonna go ahead and grab some more Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. They're a little bit higher priced in this store at $7.49, but they are again, buy one, get one 40% off and earn back $4 in Walgreens cash when you purchase two. And I have a $4 digital coupon off of two that I'm gonna be using for the Neutrogena wipes. So this now totals me $23.96, but I'm not gonna stop here. I'm gonna build my transaction up so that I can use Walgreens cash on a spend deal. So in this transaction, I'm gonna grab one of these Gillette razors that are on sale for $12.99. And when you buy one, you earn back a $4 register reward and I have an awesome $7 digital coupon. And to get my total up to 40, I wanted to find something with a high value coupon. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up another of the single uh, Maybelline eyeshadows for $3.99. And I'm gonna use a $3 digital coupon. So now my total is at $40.94 so that I can use $20 in Walgreens cash. I'm gonna use this $5 register reward that will attach to my Dove body wash. And OMG, the other store I went to yesterday was totally out and I found some at this store. I found one of the snuggles and I found some dryer sheets. They are buy one, get one free. So they are priced at $5.49 in this store. I do have a $1 printable coupon. I'll link that printable coupon in the description box, but we have Ibotta rebates. So I'm gonna get $1.50 back on each one of these and a dollar bonus for purchasing both of the fabric softener and the dryer sheets. So since I'm adding this to my transaction, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in this free $10 Walgreens gift card that I got to pay my balance because it's gonna be just a little higher than I had anticipated, but I wanted to pick up the snuggle and I don't wanna do a separate transaction. So let's get to the kitchen table and see how all of this Walgreensness turned out. All right, we are back with this amazing haul. So, so excited to share this with you. First off, did you see the ad for next week? Uh, a lot of us, probably all of us, because it's an in-ad coupon, got that booster. Um, it was a little confusing because I don't think you could see the whole thing on the app, but I'll pop a picture up on the screen. It's in the ad as well which means everybody has access to it. I'm sure they will have them printed out at the store, even though they don't have the paper ads. Or you can pull up your app and hopefully the cashier will scan the barcode from the app if you don't have it digitally clipped. But I really love this little booster. Walgreens has never given us a tiered spend amount 
and it is good for two weeks. So I'm guessing we can probably use it multiple times. So it's spend 25, earn $5 in Walgreens cash, spend 40, earn $10 in Walgreens cash, or spend 100 and earn $30 in Walgreens cash. I'm quite certain, although I will test it next week, that we can use Walgreens cash to pay with those as long as we do them the correct way, like I'm gonna show you here. All right, so I was really excited when I saw that was in the ad, and it's probably good for multiple use. All right, so first transaction, as I told you in the video, I kind of let some of the negativity get to me, and it never used to bother me before at all, because if somebody would say something like, Walgreens is always trouble, or you know, I can never get things to work at Walgreens, Walgreens sucks, whatever. I like it didn't bother me at all because I know how to work Walgreens. If you stick around, I'll teach you how to work Walgreens. I'm so happy to do that. Um, but with the changes that were being made, I was like, I don't know if everything's going to be the same. And what if people are right? And what if Walgreens isn't going to be good? No, Walgreens is dang fantastic. So when I went into the store, my plan was I was just going to do my $20 in beauty products and I was going to have a subtotal which I was going to use a Walgreens gift card for and then I was like nope we're not doing this we know how to use points aka Walgreens cash on spend deals and still earn back Walgreens cash so that's what we're gonna do so first transaction for my beauty I did the Neutrogena and the Maybelline and then I built my transaction up by adding the Venus razors and the poise pads. I just put the, the toothbrushes there because I couldn't get them to stand up. And I told you in the store, I did not want to add the toothbrushes to this transaction because I know what happens at Walgreens with the PNG coupons. And since I was using paper coupons, I was afraid they would attach to my Venus. And then my $7 digital would not have come off. Again, when you know better, you can do better. I know how to work Walgreens system. So my couponing works out most of the time. Yes, Walgreens has some glitches, but it's really truly about understanding how their system works. So that one totaled me $44.14. Let's take a look at the receipt here. So I got my Neutrogena at buy one, get one 40%. My Baby Lips at buy one, get one half price. There is my Venus, my two poise pads on sale, two for 10, and my other Maybelline. I used no paper coupons in this, all digital. My $7 off Venus came off. My $5 instead of the $4, thank goodness, off the two poise came off. My four off the two Neutrogena came off. This is four off of two Maybelline that came off. You can see it says e-coupon. Those are all digital manufacturer coupons. And then my $3 off one um, Maybelline came off. So my subtotal was $21.14. I used $20. $20 in Walgreens cash. So I had to pay $114. These are the transactions that I love. Let's take a look at what I got back. I used $20 in Walgreens cash, redeemed. I earned back $21.40 in Walgreens cash. It works. It works just like it used to. I earned back $4, $4 in Walgreens cash for the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I earned Five dollars for the if you spend five, you earn back five. I earned ten dollars for the if you spend 20 in beauty products, you earn ten dollars in Walgreens cash. And because it, I'm earning birthday points, uh, that was another two dollars and 16 cents in birthday points plus my normal one percent cash back, which used to be the 10 times everyday reward points. In addition, I earned back a $4 register reward, compliments of P&G, for the Venus Racer. This also printed the bo birthday booster, but I already have it clipped to the account. Oh, I wonder if I clipped that to another account. I didn't think of that. <laughs> I wonder if it'll work on another account. I might have to try that. And I also got a earned $7 when you spend 30. Now we know on these paper boosters that print from the Catalina, we cannot use points to pay but we can on the digital ones, almost all of them. So let's take a look at my coupons here. I had $12, uh, $16, $20, $23 in coupons. All of these coupons, even though 
It was a $7 off Venus, which had nothing to do with my beauty purchase. Even though it was a $5 off Poise, had nothing to do with my beauty purchase. All coupons count in the system as cash spent. So just with my coupons, I spent over $20 qualifying me to earn back all of my dang points. I was so excited. Oh my gosh. I literally did a hop, skip, and jump out of the store. I actually came home from Walgreens last night and I said, my family was watching TV and I said, family? In case any of y'all care, I just made me some money at Walgreens and it was fantastic. <laughs> they all just kind of roll their eyes at me. So my subtotal was $21.14 on that transaction. I earned back $21.40 in Walgreens cash plus a $4 register reward. That makes that transaction completely free and a $4.26 moneymaker. And my favorite part, of course, is my very low subtotal that I only paid $1.14. All right, then I did my second transaction, which was the toothbrushes and the Godiva chocolate. So love this transaction. Now that Catalina promotion, again, you will not see it, it um, advertised in Walgreens because it is not a Walgreens promotion. It is a Catalina promotion, just like we had with the Poise last month. That ended on November 15th, I think. If you purchase one, you earn back $1.25. I posted the picture on my community tab. Thank you again to Eileen. It is a little coupon basically or an advertisement that prints out of the Catalina machine. I didn't get it, but she got it and she shared it with me. So I shared it with all of you. If you purchase two, you earn back $2.50. If you purchase four, you earn back a $4. No, if you purchase three or more, you earn back a $4 register reward. Well, I just wanted to do two because with the coupons I had and the register reward coming back, it would have made them totally free. If I would have purchased four to be, no, well, actually, oh, I probably should have purchased three. I didn't think of that. Because <laughs> I forgot Walgreens system, even if it's a sale price, it will, um, it will ring the third product up. You don't have to buy in multiples. It would have ringed the third product up as um, two fifty or three fifty, and then I wonder if the IVC would have worked though, because the IVC is off too. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I went ahead and did two. I got my freebies. So let's take a look at that receipt. So there's my two Oral B toothbrushes for eight dollars, and my Godiva chocolate for seven dollars. I had the cashier scan the IVC coupon book, which took two dollars off. I handed over two paper coupons for the Oral-B for $2 off and handed over those two $1.25 coupons off of the Godiva. My subtotal was $6.50. I did use $5 in Walgreens cash to pay. Again, I am working with the card that has the birthday points, so I actually did earn back 80 cents because it will give me back any, it'll give me back 10% of anything I actually spent. And Walgreens cash does not count as spent. So what I spent was two, four, five, six, fifty plus my dollar fifty subtotal. So that's 80 cents back. What I got back from this transaction was four dollars for my Oral B. Look at this one's different because it's Catalina, not Walgreens. Two fifty back for purchasing two of the Godiva. And I also got a coupon for Godiva, which is awesome. So I ended up with a subtotal of $6.50 for the Godiva and the Oral-B toothbrushes, and I got back $6.50. How amazing, plus 80 cents. So really that transaction made me 80 cents. That was pretty fantastic. Now, because I was so excited, I went and did another transaction. I made a dang mistake here. Usually when things don't work out, it's because we make mistakes and I made a dang mistake. It still ended up working out fantastic but my subtotal was $4 higher on this transaction than I anticipated because I didn't have a dang digital coupon on this account that I had on the other one and I just assumed I had it and didn't look. So totally my fault. So in this transaction, again, I was working with the spend 20 in beauty, earn $10 back and spend $5, earn $5 back. So there's my Neutrogena wipes at buy one, get one half price. 
There's my Snuggle fabric sheets at $5.49 and my fabric softener was totally free. There is my Gillette razor at $12.99 and then my two Dove body wash. Uh, and then my Maybelline um, eyeshadow. I was looking for something to get me up to 40 uh, with a high value digital, but then I added the Snuggle so I actually really didn't need it, but it's fine. So I used that $1 printable coupon off of the Snuggle. My $7 digital off the Gillette came off. My $3 off of the um, Pro Glide came off. And then I used a $5 register reward. What did not come off was my $4 off to Neutrogena because apparently I don't have that coupon on this account and I thought I did. So there you go. So my subtotal was $30.43 on this transaction. I did use $20 in Walgreens cash. And what I used was that gift card I showed you of $10. That was free money that I earned for purchasing two other gift cards last week that I would have purchased anyways, or was it the week before? It doesn't matter. So I really literally had to pay 43 dang cents, which was awesome. So I used $20. I earned back $20 and 26 cents. I earned back $4 Walgreens cash for the Neutrogena. I earned back $1 Walgreens cash for the Dove. Um, and then I earned back $5 for spending five and $10 for spending 20 in beauty. So again, you still, just like we used to, can use Walgreens cash and still earn back Walgreens cash. So dang fantastic. So in this one, I had $16 in coupons, which didn't quite qualify me, but I used that gift card. This is not a store credit. This is an actual gift card which counts as cash. So that met my $20 spend requirement to earn back all of those points. In addition, I earned back a $4 register reward for the Gillette razor. And then I also got another spend 30, earn $7 Walgreens cash. So that was pretty fantastic. Now I will tell you in this transaction, my register reward, every time she scanned it, it said, Cannot use this coupon in this transaction. Put in a fix it. She had to call the manager over. The manager was like, I don't know. I've never seen that before. So they did go ahead and manually enter in my register reward. I think this may have been the first register reward that I have used that look like this versus looking like this. So I don't know if there's an issue with them, but just a heads up on that. So, uh, I literally paid 43 cents for this transaction. Of course, use my PayPal debit card. Uh, I earned back a $4 register reward. I earned back $20. Or no. Yeah. I earned back $20.26. And then I earned back $4. Actually, $4.25 for my Bata. $1.50 for each of the Snuggle products plus the dollar bonus. And I had a 25 cent any receipt scan. And I earned back $3.10 from Fetch Rewards because I got some dub bonuses for $1.50 back each. So really my subtotal after my Walgreens gift card on this transaction was $20.43. And I earned back Twenty twenty six in Walgreens cash, four dollar register reward, three ten on Fetch, and four dollars and twenty five cents on Ibotta. Forgot to count that twenty five cents in. Made it just over an eleven dollar money maker. Oh my gosh! So in total for all three of these transactions, I had ninety seven dollars and seven cents in product. I got these all for free, plus a fifteen dollar and ninety nine cent money maker, and the amount of cash I actually had to pay out of pocket, which of course I used my PayPal debit card, was 43 cents on one, $1.50 on one, and $1.14 on the other. <laughs> so yes, you can get a low out of pocket at Walgreens and still do fantastic. Let's talk about the awesome Mentos deal. I'm not counting these totals in with this haul. I just wanted to show you this because as we know, Swagbucks offers can change and go away quickly or lower themselves down. So if you want to take advantage of this, I would highly recommend you do it quickly. So I went ahead and purchased the four, which cost me $12.48. Cost me $12.48 for those four. 
uh, got back $16 from Swagbucks, went ahead and did it again, submitted to my points, got back $16. Now, this went under the hood. And I was like, dang it. But we all know that, you know, 90% of the Swagbucks offers, so they work just fine. And some of them go under the hood for review. No big deal to me. I am not triggered by things like that. Swagbucks is a fantastic rebate app that I have earned so much money on. So I went ahead. First, it said couldn't find any offers because that's what it does. So then I resubmitted my receipt and then it said, we have to look under the hood. No worries. Guess what? 20 minutes, I got an email. Congratulations, we awarded you your $16. Now, just in case you're confused about my points, the point value does look different. If it says 1,600 points on Swagbucks, that's $16 back. I think it says 26 or 2,700 points on my points. That is not 27 back. It is $16. It's the same dollar value as what Swagbucks has. So I just made myself eight dang dollars with the Shopkick rebate for purchasing those meds. So, so excited. Oh my gosh. In love with this haul. So happy I decided to stop letting the negative comments bother me and instead get back to what I know and love, which is how to coupon at Walgreens. And I made some awesome magic happen. I would love to hear what you are picking up from Walgreens if you're still gonna be doing any Walgreens shopping this week. And let me know if you're gonna take advantage of this awesome Godiva deal. I think it goes through the 27th of December, but the date is posted on the community tab if you wanna take a look at that. All right, that's what I got for you today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you and I'm gonna see you again soon.